Hello all. Welcome to session 65 of Selenium Python training series. In this session, I am going to practically demonstrate one of the Selenium web driver commands in Python that is get attribute command. So let's get started. What exactly is this command? Using this command, we can retrieve the value of the given attribute name of the given UI element. In order to understand this statement, let me explain with an example. For example, you are on this application page and you want to retrieve this particular label text on this button. That is, what is the label text on this button, guys? Click to get alert text. How to get this particular text from the button? For that, right click on this button, select inspect. You'll get the HTML code of this button, guys and see where exactly this label text is there in this HTML code of this button. Is it there in between the HTML tags of this uh, button? No, there is only one tag. So nothing between the HTML tags of this button. Then where exactly this label text is there? If I go through these attributes one by one, the last attribute, you see the value of the value attribute of this UI element, you can see the text case, okay? This particular value of the value attribute of this button, as the label text of this button guys. If I get this value of this value attribute, then I'll be able to succeed, right? If I have to get the text, uh, text label of this button, I have to get the value of this value attribute, simple. But in order to retrieve the value of any attribute in Selenium Python, we have to use get attribute command guys. Now let me show you practically. For that, let me first launch PyCharm ID. Here we have sample automation code written in the Python file which will open the Chrome browser, maximize the browser window, and open the application URL like this. After the application URL is opened like this, now we'll first locate this button, guys, okay? We need to locate this button. Before retrieving the text from this button, we have to locate this button. Right click inspect on this button. You see this particular HTML code of this button has this ID locator. Using the ID locator, we can locate this button. I'll copy the ID attribute value like this and write the code here saying, driver dot find element by ID. Okay, to this command, I'll pass the ID locator for locating this, click to get alert button. Now, after locating, this statement will locate the button here. But our requirement is to retrieve this particular text that is displayed on this button. How to get the text? For that, which command we have to use, guys? For that, we have to use this command, that is get attribute command. So call that command dot get attribute. So inside this command, which which attributes value you want to retrieve okay which attributes value you want to retrieve for example here i want to retrieve the value of value attribute to get the label text of this button i want to retrieve the value of this value attribute what is the attribute name value copy this value attribute name and here provide like this okay this will get the this particular text which is there inside the value attribute of this button which is nothing but the label text of this button so we'll store that in a variable guys, some random variable. So I'll say text label on button. Okay, text label on button is equal to like this. Now print it, print this variable guys, print this variable. Okay, now run this code, right click, run. This will get the label text of the button. As you can see, let's uh, code run. After the automation script has been successfully executed, let's go back to the PyCharm ID. In the output, you can see what is the text that is there on the button? Got retrieved here, right? Using the get attribute command, we were able to retrieve the label text on the button by retrieving the value of the value attribute of that particular button, guys. Similarly, we can do more things, guys. For example, uh, we want to, apart from this label text on the button, let's say I want to retrieve the URL of this link. Okay, I want to get the URL of this link. If I right click and inspect on this link, guys. Okay, if I right click on this hyperlink, you see this hyperlink has this HTML code where it has an attribute known as href. This is the URL of this hyperlink, right? The URL of the hyperlink is in which attribute? href attribute. So how to get this URL of this hyperlink? For that, first of all, we need to locate this hyperlink, guys. So using uh, which locator we can locate this hyperlink, it doesn't have ID name or class name. It has a link text, okay? Using the link text, we can locate this hyperlink. First of all, locate that driver dot find element by link text, paste it. Now, okay, I located the, this particular statement will locate this uh, compendium dev hyperlink. Now, now I want to get the HTML, okay? Now I, I want to get the URL of this particular hyperlink. 
I want to get the URL of this hyperlink, which is there in the href attribute of this hyperlink. So how to retrieve this URL? What is the attribute name? href. Copy this attribute name and go here and say dot get underscore attribute. Inside this get attribute, which attribute name we have to provide? href attribute we have to provide. Hope you are able to understand the concept now. Okay, this will get the URL of this hyperlink. That is this HTTP, Compendium, Code.uk, all this complete hyperlink will be retrieved. We'll store in a variable, guys. What is the name of the variable we can store? We can store like a, a URL. Okay. URL. This is a URL. URL of this uh, hyperlink. Okay. URL of hyperlink is equal to like this. Okay. Some random variable name. Now let me print it. Print this URL of hyperlink. And uh, again, let me run this code, guys. Okay. This time it should not only get the text label on the button, but also the URL of the hyperlink for this compendium div hyperlink. Okay. Let's see whether it will get or not. Run it. Let the automation script uh, successfully run. After the completion of the automation script execution, we'll look into the output of the PyCharm ID. You see, the script has been successfully executed. Let's go back to the PyCharm ID output. You see, this is a text label on the button. And uh, this one is the URL of the compendium dev hyperlink. This is the URL. We, got, we, we were able to retrieve using which command? Get attribute command in Selenium Python. So hope guys, you understood how to use this get attribute command in Selenium Python. So that's it guys. See you in the next video session. Thank you. Bye.